Hey, hey, and welcome back to Color Our World Blackened. Today we're going to be sending a package to my friend in Costa Rica. His name is Ricardo Castro Barantes. He was originally from the small town of Perez Zeledon, but now lives in Heredia. Now, Ricardo's been a Metallica fan for most of his life. In 1986, when he was six years old, his father, who was away working to support the family, sent him a package. When he opened the package up, he found a Sony Walkman, and inside it there was a tape. That tape was Master of Puppets, and when he pushed the play button, he fell instantly in love. The only problem was he didn't know what they were saying in the lyrics. He didn't speak English, but he desperately wanted to find out. So at a very young age, Ricardo was inspired to learn English. He didn't stop there. He went on to become a professor in English, and he currently works as a cybersecurity engineer. Now, to me, that's about as inspiring in and of itself as the inspiration that young Ricardo found in his Master of Puppets tape. Brother, you've got a lot to be proud of. You've done very well for yourself. And speaking of things that Ricardo has to be proud of, he now has his own son, Saul. Saul loves Superman, and he also loves Metallica. I think this is the perfect example of the magnitude of Metallica's legendary status. Not only did Ricardo's father give his son the gift of Metallica, but in doing so, he also passed it along to his grandson. I remember when the Black Album Tour started, An Evening with Metallica, you started to see small children showing up at the shows. People were bringing their young, young kids, and now it's the grandchildren, and I think this is going to continue into our future for a very long time. It's, Metallica's greatness is just going to be passed down through the generations. Ricardo's first live show was in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He was more than ready for it. He went straight for the rail and got it. He told me a pretty cool story about how after the show, he gave Rob his country's flag, and he asked for Costa Rica. When are you going to play Costa Rica? Rob just looked at him and said, soon, very soon, my brother. His favorite live show was the show in Antarctica, where Metallica became the first band in history, first and only band, to ever play live shows on all seven continents. He said there were 18 contest winners, the complete population of Carlini Station, and the Metallica crew, which totaled about 100 people. Everyone got to meet and hang out with the band. They got a limited edition t-shirt. They got guitar picks. Lars gave them each a stick that there were only 18 of. So Ricardo's got some rare collectibles from that show, and here he is. I'm going to let him tell you a little more about it. Let him show it to you. Hey, Mike. Uh, this is Ricardo from Costa Rica. How are you? Well, I am very happy because I have this opportunity to make uh, your idea, which is very nice. I think it is awesome. It is the best idea so far for Metallica uh, to share our treasures, to make uh, the best trades, the possible trades we can make uh, around the countries. And well, Costa Rica is uh, a very small country that I can tell you. Uh, it is very difficult to have some things, you know, uh, related to Metallica. But I really want to show you guys something that I have. First of all, I started to uh, to collect uh, gu guitar picks, especially a uh, long time ago, and I was robbed. I was robbed 175 picks, around, uh, very close to 175 picks, and I started over. Um, it has been a very difficult uh, trip because uh, we don't have the chance like in the United States or Europe, but I want to make a difference, you know. And as you mentioned before, my most uh, valued uh, memorabilia will be this one behind me. This is from Antarctica. I got the chance to win uh, one of the, one of the, let's say, tickets to go to Antarctica in, for Costa Rica. And well, I got uh, this t-shirt uh, signed by all members from Metallica. I think it is the best moment in my life and I am very happy that I did it. And you know, I had the best conversation with James Hetfield related uh, to his family, uh, his wife, which is amazing. She saved uh, his life honestly and he was very very kind to listen to me when I mentioned that and we have a blast I just want to say that I will trade uh, with you some picks and then I really hope we can give the surprise to my friend in the United Kingdom okay take care my friend thank you so much for everything good job Ricardo nice little video thanks for taking the time to do that and that's one heck of a 
bundle of souvenirs he brought back from that show. Very impressive. And speaking of impressive, you should see his guitar pick collection. I believe he's got 317. So Ricardo's been collecting picks since 2007. And as he told you, he got robbed. And I think it's pretty cool that he had to go back to nothing, but it didn't stop him. He's still in mad pursuit of guitar picks. So he's got 317 guitar picks, and I was a little worried if I was going to have anything to trade him. So I went to my pick stash. These are just various random guitar picks that I've collected from over the years. Went to my stash and found three that he needed and one potential. And because Saul has a birthday coming up, I'd like to say, Happy birthday, little man. You rock. And I'd like to send you this, Ricardo. It's his very own copy of Master of Puppets. It's an original Electro. It's probably the exact same tape your father gave you. Um, if you wouldn't mind, put it away. And when he's old enough to understand the significance and the symbolism, please give it to him. Okay, we have one more thing to take care of. Ricardo has a good friend over in the UK. He's a younger guy, next generation metalhead. His name is Seb Rian Lear. I hope I didn't butcher that too bad, Seb. But Ricardo wanted to give you a shout out. I'm gonna give you a shout out too. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this little package in with Ricardo's package. And it's a surprise. We're not gonna show the viewers and we're not gonna show you until you get it. Um, enjoy this. It's from your buddy in Costa Rica. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this stuff up. So coming at you, Ricardo Castro Barantes. Hey, Mike. Hey, family. How are you? This is Ricardo from Costa Rica. And, well, uh, I got to do what I got to do with this video, right? Uh, I promised uh, when I received the package from Mike, this one, right? I would show you what is inside. And I have a little idea what's inside but I will open it, okay? Let's take a look. Uh, it's kind of hard to open. It's pure. Let's see what's going on in here. Ah, very nice protection, Mike. <laughs> very nice, man. Uh, let's see. first Let's see what's going on hmm. hey Mike did you use super bonder or something here <laughs> okay okay look what we have in here let me open this okay. we have an envelope I will, I will reuse it. We gotta recycle, right? Whoa! I've never seen this. Nice man. This is from nineteen ninety six. Can you can you see this? Whoa, man! Thank you, man. This is great. From Giant. Yugian stickers. Wow, man, this is amazing. I love it. Oh, thank you. Let's see what else do we have in here. Oh, man. More stickers. Take a look about this. It'll be very nice in a t shirt, right? Wow, man, thank you. Oh, this is awesome. This is another one. Okay. Hey, Mike. You're old, man. Thank you. Let's see what else we have. We have some picks in here. My favorites. <laughs> and I didn't have these picks. So let me show you one by one, okay? We have the Black Album Tour for the 20 years. Okay. Also, we have the other side. Oh, come on. Focus. 
Oh man, it, it is not working. Okay, there you go. And this is um, an Ultex pick. Okay. Um, it, it is very hard to see. Okay. But anyway, thank you, man. We have a Tortex. Uh, this is whatever I may run 1991, 1993. And we have this uh, version. Thank you, Mike. This is very nice, man. Because I gotta show this to Mike, man. To the project. I understand. Okay. See? Uh, this is amazing, man. I didn't have this pick as well. This is Tortex. Uh, we also have the Big Four USA 2011, which is Tortex. And I think this is a. Uh, uh, zero dead uh, 88 millimeter, millimeters something. I mean the size is very different And finally we have another whatever I may roam 1991 1993 pick So this is great man. Thank you And I think I have No, there's nothing in here Let me check the rest Oh, We have a cassette uh. <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. This an original record from Electra. Oh man. Okay, uh I gotta say thank you because this reminds me my father when he sent the workman and the first uh, song that I've heard was uh, Battery from Master Puppets in 1986. This is a great present, Mike. Thank you so much. And well, uh, I really hope you received your stuff too. And we're waiting for our friend in England or the United Kingdom to see if he received uh, your stuff, man. Thank you very much. This is very good uh, i love this project and take care everybody see ya right on ricardo i'm glad the package made it safely i'm glad you enjoyed the pics and i'd like to thank you again for taking the time to make your videos you did a good job all right i got my package from ricardo i really like the way he put the personal decoration on there the metallica glitch m and there's a really cool stamp from costa rica i always enjoy packages from other countries because there's always really cool stamps like we don't obviously don't get to see here in America. So let's get this sucker opened up. Whoa, wait till you see this. Okay, first we have the picks. All right, we've got a Master of Puppets 20th anniversary base pick. It's got the uh, Master of Puppets design on the front and on the back it says 20th anniversary. This would have been issued in 2006 to commemorate 20 years since the release of Master of Puppets. Very cool. All right, next we have a 2016 Record Store Day Kill em All pick. Um, for those of you who don't know what Record Store Day is, it's an annual event where independent record stores all around the world release special limited items designed to cater to the collectors of all the bands that participate. You get a lot of live stuff, picture discs, limited print runs. Sometimes you get autographed items. Record Store Day is an event designed to promote the hobby of collecting music. Vinyl, CDs, and now they're sliding back into cassettes, which is awesome. Each year, the organizers of Record Store Day will declare one particular music act the ambassador of Record Store Day, and in 2016, it was Metallica. So this is a promotional pick to commemorate Metallica as Record Store Day ambassador for 2016. These are hard to come by. I've, I've seen them on eBay. I've seen them in other people's collections, but I definitely have not seen one in person, and now I own one. And finally, we have a Worldwide 2017 pick. Now, Metallica pick collecting has never been as popular as it is right now, and that's mostly in part to the fact that they've released city exclusive picks in each city along the whole Worldwide tour. On the front, you'll have the outline from the artwork on the cover of Hardwired to Self-Destruct, and on the back, you'll have the glitch M, the city, and the date. And then along with those, they also have the album cover art design, and it's just got the album cover on the front. And on the back, it says World Wire Tour 2017. So this is a really cool pick to have. These are all three real cool picks to have. Thank you very much, Ricardo.
but he put in a little something extra. Check this out. This is an embroidered patch from his local chapter in Costa Rica. It says Metallica Costa Rica fade to black number 457. Now the picks are really cool Ricardo, don't get me wrong, but they've got nothing on this. This is what it's all about. I'm going to find a place on this jacket. I'm going to have it sewn on. This is why I love doing trades with people from other countries. You can't get much better than having a, a, a region-specific item like this. Uh, again, Ricardo, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And now let's get to the map. I've already got the outline of Costa Rica shaded in. Alrighty, so there you have it. Costa Rica has now been colored blackened, thanks to my friend Ricardo Castro Barantes. Ricardo, thank you very much for making this happen. Thanks for your time and effort on the videos. Thanks for the pics. Thanks for this patch. I can now say that I've done a trade with one of the most well-known, well-respected, and well-liked players in the game of Metallica pick collecting. And take care of Saul. Enjoy every minute you can with your son because like that System of a Down song says, these days are never coming back. Pretty soon you're going to be the old man in the story. So just keep on doing what you're doing. You're a really good dad. Everybody else, thanks for watching. We've done five trades all in North America. So our next couple trades are going to be, we're, going, we're heading to Europe. We've got one in England. Then we've got one over in Australia and then back to England for another one. Uh, just be patient. We're going to get all around this big old map. So if you like what we have going on here, Please subscribe to the channel, give us a like, a dislike, leave us a comment, let us know how we're doing. Share the video, tell a friend. Until next episode, rock on.